For us, we call this uh, the best place on earth. Uh, the farm has been in my family since 1894, so there's a lot of history here. The solar project will benefit uh, our little town of Heartland in a couple of different ways. Uh, one thing, it's going to be great for our, our um, reputation. We're going to be the little town that stepped up and helped solve this global warming problem that we have. And of course, it'll benefit the town by adding revenues in taxes for the school and the town so that our, our small schools will be able to provide quality education for our kids. A lot of the families in this area have been here for generations, my own included. It's just a really special feeling to, to have that grounded and I want to maintain that for my children so being able to keep the land in our family is pretty awesome. Just save that for our family and keep it in my family for my kids and years to come at the same time doing what's right for the environment. I think this project will help the future generations of this community by providing a cleaner environment it's our first step towards making, uh, you know, helping the planet Earth. And also the taxable income of this project, I think I, I foresee a way better place to grow up in the town of Heartland than I did back in the early 80s. The project benefits the community in a number of different ways. I would say the number one benefit is the clean, renewable energy. And then once the project is up and running, there will be some full-time employees who will add to our community and have a trickle-down effect on local restaurants and wineries and other businesses in the area as well. Our partnership with EDF has been fantastic both for myself and for Variety Farms. Beyond the obvious financial benefits for this project, we've learned so much from them. Education has brought a lot of opportunities to, to us, but mainly I'm excited to be able to potentially use it as an opportunity to pass this farm along to the next generation and to maintain its success long into the future. Well, people don't always think of similarities between traditional farming and solar farming, but there actually is a lot because we are making a commodity the sun is being harvested and turned into electricity. At the same time, it's not damaging the land in any way. This, uh, the soil will be planted to cover crops that we can then use for um, pollinators, for bees, and we'll be able to have the pollination and the honey. There's also a possibility of having uh, sheep graze underneath the solar panels. Being able to share the sunshine, I think, is a very cool opportunity that goes along with solar. Whether it be plants like pumpkins, potentially between the panels, or even animals uh, like sheep or even potentially beef cattle, I think it's a really good opportunity for us to be able to harvest multiple products that are beneficial to the people of this state in this country and, and even the people of this community to be able to benefit from those products. I decided to be able to do what's right for the environment and most importantly to provide my children with land to roam and play and ride their four-wheelers on without chemicals, herbicides and pesticides being sprayed on a regular basis. We decided to have solar panels on our land for a couple of reasons. One is philosophically, like I said, we wanted to be part of the solution. And the other thing is for financial stability. We had the land that we weren't really using and to have some income from that land will give us a financial stability into the future for our future generations.